This week's webinar is brought to you by PremiumBeat.com, providing high-quality stock music for all of your video and film projects. And there is our 3D text. If I twirl down text and highlight the 3D text, Inspector, Text, notice down here, that's my basic lighting. I can twirl down lighting, and I've got all these different types of lighting to work with, which is fine for 3D text, but it's not what I want to do today. What I want to do today is I want to work with custom lighting, so I'm going to turn this checkbox off and notice that our text has disappeared. Making the text disappear is not your first goal when <laughs> doing lighting. So I'm going to twirl down the lighting group, and let's add a key light. The key light is up about 40 degrees. It's off to the left about 40 degrees, and I've changed its color. It's a spotlight. I changed its color to dark blue, and notice how we've got this nice look with a light fall off. It's brighter on the left than it is on the right. This is not ambient light. This is a spotlight. Now, if you're wondering, the 3D text is a format, a font called phosphate, which is why I've got this nice groove. And that groove is actually hollow. It goes all the way to the back of the text, which gives us some really cool looks that we'll see in just a minute. So there is our key light. And we can position that key light by adjusting it in X, Y, or Z space, what we just saw ourselves doing with the other lights in the other set. Well, let's add, um, let's add a fill light. Whoa. Isn't that cool? We've got the fill light is not coming from the front. It's coming from the back. It's actually backlit. And if you look really carefully here, you'll see that we're picking up a little bit of red glow right on the edge of the D, but it's clearly brighter on the right than it is on the left. Now you know that to make stuff look good in video, we need to emphasize the depth, which means we need a backlight to separate the object from the background. We just happen to have a backlight here. Let's go back to the computer, click the backlight on, and look at the difference. Look at how the 3D, the top of the 3, the top of the D, the, the bottom part of the E, are all illuminating as we turn that backlight on. Now you got to admit, that's a whole lot more interesting a look than we had with that standard ambient environmental lighting that 3D text came with when we first opened up this project. Well, let's, uh, let's start to play with this just a bit. Let's uh, select the project. You don't have to, but it just helps me stay organized. Let's go to Object, and let's add a new light, and we'll set this to be a spotlight. Well, here, watch this. Set this to be a point light. And now with the point light, you can see it right here. Look at how our lighting changes as I drag the light across our text. And it's not only moving in uh, left to right, it's also moving in depth. Now it's in front of the text, now it's next to the text, and now it's behind the text. And we're illuminating different letters as I simply move that light. Let's um, animate this. Select the light, go down to a behavior, and let's give it a throw behavior. Show the HUD, F7, and I just want the light to move in this general direction. So let's give it a direction here and spacebar. Look at that. A very simple point light moving through space using the throw behavior. No keyframes, keep it really simple, and we're getting some really interesting lighting on our text. But there's a lot more that we can do with animating our lighting than just that. Let's uh, change this light by selecting it. Let's take the throw off. Let's select the light and change it to a spotlight. Let's take this spotlight and notice how as we change the direction, we're able to give ourselves an, an interesting different look to our text. First, let's give ourselves a color of... Uh, of a greenish color somewhere around in, in there. And now as I pan the text, okay, so I've got a green color. Now, let's, uh, let's animate this light a little bit differently. We'll turn off our red fill light. So we'll just turn that off. And now I'm going to create some keyframes. I wanna have the light hold for 
oh, about a half a second or so. So I position the playhead where I want my animation to start. Select the light, go to Inspector Light Properties, and set a keyframe for rotation. I want my rotation to start on the words 3D, and when it gets to about here, I want to have the rotation. There we go. Keep rotating until it gets off 3D and goes on to text. At this point, we're going to create a keyframe for position, and we want to have the light move this way and then rotate. Go back over to Y here. Right about there. Now let's just watch this. So we've seen that we can take and animate a light either using a standard behavior like throw or here using keyframes to control first an, an angle of rotation. So we illuminate one part of the word and not another part. Move it through space. And as we move it through space, notice that we're starting to illuminate different letters until we finally get the effect that we want. I think this is a really nice blue here but I want to keyframe a color change. So we'll select our key light. We'll go about a second in, right about there. Go to light and see the color, see this keyframe button. I'm going to click here to set a keyframe and then drag to about here and say, I want to change this to be a gold, a dark gold, right about there. And now let's see what that looks like. And let's just, isn't that neat? This ability to have an unlimited number of lights with unlimited um, animation gives us a, a really powerful way to define the look of our, of, our, of our elements. Now, I'm using 3D text because it's just way fun to play with, but this is true for 2D text, it's true for video, it's true for backgrounds. Any set that you build, we can apply a, an unlimited number of lights to it. We'll see more of that in just a couple minutes. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar going deeper into 3D space inside Motion 5.2. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 167. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.